Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a huge Tarte Cosmetics haul. I was absolutely so lucky to be sent a massive package from Tarte with a whole heap of products in it and I'm seriously so grateful. I could have cried when I got that package. It was like, I don't know, I cannot even explain how excited and how happy I was. So I wanted to go through it and share with you guys everything that Tarte sent me. I am wearing a lot of it on my face today and there is a tutorial coming very, very soon if it's not up already. If it is, it will be linked down below as with everything else in this video. And I also just wanted to address my hair. I did use a fudge purple hairspray through it and it has made it like the most knotty mess in the world and I have I can't do anything to it so if it looks really really gross I'm sorry please don't pay attention to it I do need to wash it out but hey it kind of looks cool I like the purple but it just feels awful and it doesn't look that great but anyway let's get on to the haul so this is the big box of products that they sent me so as you can see there is quite a bit of stuff in here I was literally expecting like not even a quarter of this to be sent to me. So to have all of this, I'm just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, Todd, and thank you, you guys, because if I didn't have my YouTube channel and my Instagram, then I wouldn't have these opportunities. So thank you. So the first thing I got is this Tarte Brazilians Plus and a self tanner mitt. So this is a self tanning cream, I'm assuming. It's got really, really cute packaging. It's like lilac -y purple, gold, and pink. And so is the tanning mitt. One side is lilac and one side is mint green. So it's super cute. So this says, enjoy a natural looking sunless tan, no fake or orange color, no self tanner smell, no uneven application. And yeah, I was going to try this last night, but I was really, really tired and I'm not very good with creams. So I didn't want to risk trying it out like when I wasn't 100% sure that it would turn out good. So I will give this a go, but yeah, I'm excited to try some of the Tarte tanning products. So next product I've got are some makeup removing wipes. These are the Fresh Eyes Maracuja Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. I had actually already tried these when I was at Casey's house one time and I loved the way they removed my makeup. So I used one today and it, they're just really, 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 really good. They take away any product that you've got and they smell really good too. They smell like sweet but fresh and they, I don't know, they're really good. Super cute packaging as with everything tart, everything is cute. So yeah, I'm very excited to have these. You get 30 wipes in this pack, so it does look small, but you do get 30 wipes. Next thing I got is this Tardis Pro Flutter Faves Lash Case. So this is the box, and I didn't know what this was when I first got it, but it's so cute, guys. So it's this gold case. When you open it up, it's got a little mirror inside and it's got a little tiny mascara in here, which is the... Oh no, this is a lash adhesive. It's an eyelash glue. Oh, look at that. And it's dark and it's got a little brush, which is my favorite. Oh my gosh, I wish I had known because I would have used this today. I just assumed it was a mascara. That's so exciting. So you get a little lash adhesive and you get a space for your eyelashes. So you get one, two, three, four spaces for four pairs. So it's a super cute way to store your eyelashes and I just, I love this so much. It's such a cute little package. Next up, I got the Tardis Pro Glow To Go palette. I don't know if you guys watched my February favorites video and like current favorites, but I mentioned the Tardis Pro Glow palette, which is their bigger version of this because I've loved that since I got it. I've been using it non-stop for months and months. And I did mention that they had this smaller one and I was lucky enough to be sent it. So here's what the packaging looks like. And I love, love, love the front of it. And then it opens up, you have a mirror inside, which is actually quite a big mirror. It's a really good size. And then you have your three powders. So you get two highlights, you get one that's more like a really pearly shade and the other one's more like a golden yellowy shade and then the bottom you get a contour powder which is the contour powder I use today 
to sculpt out my cheekbones and it's just as good as the Pro Glow palette. I expected nothing less. And the highlights are insanely pigmented as you'll see by the swatches. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and as with all Tarte like powder products, it smells amazing. They, I don't know what they do to it. I think I just put my nose in that contour. I don't know what they do to their powders to make them smell so good, but they do something because they all smell amazing. I got their Tarte Clean Slate Flawless 12 Hour Brightening Primer. So I used this today. It feels absolutely beautiful. It feels very, very similar to the Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Primer. So this is the packaging. I, I, ugh, I'm speechless. I have no words for Tarte packaging. Everything is so cute. I literally just want like a corner of my room to have just all Tarte products on display because they're amazing. So this one says it's silicon free, it's waterproof and it's brightening. It felt really, really nice to apply and everything applied beautifully on top. My foundation like just glided over it so it felt beautiful. So far I'm loving this. I love the packaging. I got another clean slate product. I got their 360 degree creaseless 12 hour smoothing eye primer. So again, packaging is adorable. It's the same kind of packaging as the primer except it's white um, and it has, yeah, the flowery effect on it. Again, I use this today. It feels beautiful on my eyes. It's very, very, very smoothing. And it is white, but it sort of did blur and like cover my veins on my eyes. I don't know how, but it kind of did. So I don't usually go for white or clear primers, but it worked really, really well. So I may have changed my mind about that. So this just says shadow primer and under eye base all in one. So I guess you can use it underneath your concealer. Waterproof shadow look formula and it's a universal shade, which I guess is why it's like a clear one so that people of all different skin tones can use it. So um, I'm gonna see how well my eyeshadow list lasts today. I do have a glitter on. I'm excited to see if it lasts really well because it does feel so nice. This is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I, again, use this today to set my face. Um, it's quite mattifying, so I did like that, and I think it would be really good for people with oilier skins. This is the packaging. I think I'm going to say it every single time I pull something out, but the packaging, it gets me. So it's got a brown sort of colored lid, and it's got foiled gold like bamboo, I think it is. So it's a translucent powder. It looks very, very white, but it does come off translucent. It doesn't, you know, affect the way that your makeup looks. It's incredibly finely milled. Like, I haven't really used a powder that is this finely milled ever. And it says, immediately after application, 93% of women said skin appeared free of excess oil. 90% of women saw an immediate improvement in skin texture and 90% of women said skin appeared smoother and softer, which I do definitely agree with. It's quite a blurring powder, so I am very impressed with this so far. I got their Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. So, packaging, no words, no words. This is a moisturizer, so it's a skincare product. This is gonna sit out on my vanity forever, and even when it's empty, I'm keeping it because I am just obsessed with the packaging of this. It is amazing. So I haven't actually used this yet. I didn't really want to delve into a new moisturizer just yet because I've just started a new one. So I am going to save this for when I do need it. But the texture of this feels very, like, obviously very gel-like. It smells really, really good. It isn't fragrance-free, so just a heads up. But yeah, as I said, I love the packaging. I'm sure I'm gonna love this. It feels very similar to the texture of the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer, which is my favorite moisturizer for the summertime. So I'm excited to see how this one compares. I got a pair of their eyelashes, which are all cruelty-free. All their lashes are cruelty-free, as is all of Tarte's products, which is absolutely amazing. I love that. So this pair is very, very natural. 
Um, they're super fluffy and fluttery looking and the band looks quite thin, which is what I love. I hate really, really thick bands. So these ones are in the style little black dress. So yeah, I'm excited to use these and if I like them, I'm definitely going to purchase more. I got their Man Eater eyeliner. So this is a self-sharpening eyeliner. This packaging is gorgeous as well. It's foiled gold with purple leopard print on it. I used this today and I actually used this the other day in my waterline um, top and bottom and it's amazing. It stays for so long. This is what it looks like. It's black with gold leopard print on it and it just says man eater. It's got a little twisty cap and yeah, it's self sharpening. So to be honest, I don't really know how that works, but I guess I will see when it starts to run out. So yeah, so far this is a really, really nice eyeliner, which I have been looking for a cruelty free liner for a while because my old favorite was the Rimmel Scandalize one, but Rimmel does test on animals. So yes, I am loving this so far. I think they literally sent me nearly every single mascara that they sell. I have so many new mascaras to try out and I'm so excited. So. The first one I'll pull out is also the Man Eater Mascara, so the packaging is beautiful and gold and the same thing, it's got that purple leopard print on it. And this brush is a rubber brush, it's got tiny tiny little bristles but it's got a lot of them so I haven't used this one yet so I don't have any thoughts on it but I do like the look of that brush, those are some of my favourite types of brushes. So the next mascara I actually got two of, um, I don't know if they meant to send two but it's just the Tarte Tartist Lash Paint Mascara, so um, they sent one in packaging and one without, um, so I'll just open the one without. I love, love, love the packaging of this. It's black, the lid is gold, and it's got like splatter, like paint, lash paint. The brush on this one is another rubber brush. It's the same kind of thing as the Man Eater one, except this one doesn't have quite as many bristles. Again, I haven't actually used it yet, so I don't really have any thoughts on it, but I am definitely excited to use this one too. Next one I got, I was so excited because it's like a cult favorite on YouTube and it's the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This packaging, I've never seen anything like it. It's very odd. It's hard to explain even what it's like, but I love it. And I have actually used this. I used it today and I used it yesterday and I love it. it. Makes my lashes look so, so, so long and it coats every single little lash that I've got. This brush is actually like a bristled brush, not a rubber brush. And I don't even normally like these kinds of brushes, but this mascara is amazing. I'm so highly impressed by it. And I see what everyone's raved about for years. Next one is, I think, this is only new. This is the Tarte Lifted Mascara. So this packaging is my favorite because it's purple and purple is my favorite color. And I haven't used this one, but it's kind of a similar brush to the Lights Camera Lashes. It's a bristly, like fluffy kind of brush, I guess. And the packaging is all rubberized, so it's like easy to hold onto. So I'm excited to see if I like this one. Okay, and then the last mascara, I told you I got a lot. I, use, I have used as well and it's the Gifted Mascara which look at this packaging it's all like bamboo wooden packaging with purple patterns on it again it's another bristly mascara wand which I actually really really like it was kind of the same as Lights Camera Lashes I didn't really notice a huge difference between it except the Lights Camera Lashes seemed to give me a little bit more length um, but this one was still absolutely beautiful and I loved it Okay, I got a Tarte Flush Cheek Stain, so this is super, super cute. It's quite a dark colour. When I opened it, I was quite surprised how dark that colour is, but when you apply it, it's actually not as dark as it looks. It's kind of scary looking. It kind of looks like jello blood or something, <laughs> but it's beautiful. I just blended it out on the back of my hand earlier. Didn't actually use it on my face today because I didn't feel like it went with my makeup look. Yeah, I'm excited to try these out and see how much pigment I get out of them and if it like really lasts on my cheeks because blush is one of the first things to go on my face. Now for lip products, I am dying over all of these lip products. I'm just obsessed. 
I'm going to show you the Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash lipsticks first. I got three different shades. I am wearing Sunkissed today, which is this one. Let me show you what these tubes look like. You guys are going to die. Do you see how gorgeous that is? It's like aqua blue. Looks like an ocean. Absolutely gorgeous. Ah. Oh. I am obsessed with this packaging. So like I said, this is the color I've got on today. And these are literally the most creamy pigmented lipsticks I think I've ever used. These are my new favorite lipsticks. I have absolutely no hesitation in saying that. I haven't been this impressed by lipstick in a very, very, very long time. This formula is just perfect. It lasts so long on the lips, but it's still so creamy and they don't dry, like they're like a cream finish lipstick, which those are my favorite because I do have very, very dry lips. Um, and as much as I love liquid lipsticks, they just don't really agree with my lips after a long period of time. So the fact that these last a long time, but they're still creamy, just does it for me. I'm so impressed. I will do swatches of all three colors for you guys, which you're probably seeing right this second. Um, but I did get the shades, like I said, Sunkissed, which I've got on today, Siesta, which I did wear the other day, and it is a gorgeous, like, brownie, brownie nude. Um, and then I got Five O'Clock, which is another gorgeous nude as well. I got one of the Tardis Glossy Lip Paints, and it's in a gorgeous nude shade again. I'm so glad I got so many nudes, because nudes are my favorite. This is in the shade Goals. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, it's gorgeous. It's just clear so you can see the actual color. And then the lid is gold. And it's just a standard doe foot applicator, which it's really quite big. So it's really, really nice to apply on the lips. They're not overly sticky. They are a little bit sticky, but I think that is what you get with any lip gloss. They're very, very pigmented too, which I do like in a lip gloss because I feel like sometimes you get no pigment, you may as well be wearing a clear gloss. And then finally, I got eight of their lip paints, which is incredible. I love their lip paints. At Christmas time, I bought a little set that came with five different lip paints and lip pencils, and I love the formula. They're probably my favorite liquid lipstick because they're quite moussey, and that is the texture that I like. So three of them are in this packaging, which is gold, and then the color that the lipstick actually is. And then I got five in this packaging, which is black with the like paint splatter of the color. So I think this one is the new packaging, and this one might be an older packaging, but regardless, I am in love. So I will swatch every single color on the back of my hand for you guys or on my arm just to show you all the colors that I got. So the first one I got is called Brownie, which is a really nice, I guess, chocolate brown shade. The next one I got is Namaste. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous pale nude color. Next up, I got Hangry, which I love the name of that. It's so funny and it's like a gorgeous wine color. Then I got Acid Wash, which is a really dark, purpley, vampy kind of shade. I love this. It's going to be gorgeous for winter. Then I got Vibin, which by the looks of it is like a kind of a muted wine ready shade. It's one of those ready brown colors. Then I got Home Slice, which is a peachy nude. And I love, love, love the look of this. It's it is a nude, but it's very much peachy pink. Then I got Get It, which is a very, very nude shade, and I love, love, love it. And then the last color I got is Killin' It, which is another dark, vampy, reddy kind of shade, which looks so beautiful. So those are all of the lip paints that I got, and as I said, I'm so excited about those because I already know the formula is amazing. So yeah. Super excited. So that was everything in my Tarte package. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I could not be more grateful for receiving products from brands. And you know, they don't have to send us products. They don't have to do anything. Tarte's already an amazing brand. They don't have to get me to promote them, but they were kind enough to send me products just to check out and you know, try for you guys. 
and I love Tarte as a brand. I actually, as soon as I got this, made an online order just because I was so appreciative of everything they sent me. So I did order their Rainforest of the Sea foundation, I got their Shape Tape Concealer and I got their Pro Palette. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a one brand tutorial coming at you guys very very soon. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I absolutely loved filming it for you guys and going through all of the products that I received. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! These are the Fresh Eyes Removey. This is the Tarte High Perf Oh no. So these pair... What? I am live.